The alert is in effect for extreme heat and potentially strong storms. This is a live look at the boardwalk in Ocean City. Things will be cooler along the coast tomorrow as the heat index in some places will reach the triple digits or feel like the triple digits or will reach the triple digits. Maybe even reach on Tuesday. We haven't done that in 12 yeah, years. Because uh, we say it feels like it because it'll be 95, feels like 100. Uh, exactly right. We may actually dip into the 100. We could, uh, and it wouldn't be a record on Tuesday. Record is 102 on that particular day back in 19. But we're looking at like 99 to 100. So either way, dangerous heat for sure. And I don't know if we saw in that video. I uh, so you may have saw me behind like looking. You see those guys racing along the board. No, I was like, what are you on dirt it. bikes there? <laughs> yeah, I was wondering if the video was sped up, but no, that was live. It's a warm night. It's a warm night out there. So before we get into those details, check this out. So this is a loop of our radar over the last 12 hours. Some of those storms developed and boy, did they get strong in the afternoon. Let me get you a closer look here. Take you between noon and 6 p.m. And it was these storms that started generating held together triggered severe thunderstorm warnings and not only that had verifiable severe weather in fact right down here over PHL where our observation is measured from a 64 mile per hour wind severe is 58 so there it was we had a, 50, a 64 mile per hour wind gust another random sample here in Morristown there were wires down near Morristown and Maple Shade uh, that time was around 430. So we have very active afternoon. Fortunately, right now things are really quiet. I mean, maybe a lone stray shower out west, but you can rest easy. No problems the rest of the evening. But tomorrow Storm Prediction Center has essentially the entire area back in that one out of uh, five, which is a marginal risk. And that means like today, an isolated strong to severe storm possible. We're not expecting widespread severe weather. We're not expecting anything that's going to be you know, really significant. If we do get a severe storm, it will likely be in the form of some stronger winds. So I want to show you the future cast. I think it might be a little underdone. I was just analyzing some of the data, but it does start out with some low clouds and fog, fairly quiet weather, dry for at least the first half of the day. Then we get into the afternoon. Our story tomorrow that's going to impact all of you is going to be the heat. Everybody gets the heat. Some of you may get a storm, but like I said, this map is fairly underdone. Notice by you know five, six o'clock, it has storms in the region, but it doesn't have much in our area. It's one of those days that if one gets going and it generates, especially if it generates at four, five o'clock peak heating of the day, it could roll through and it could go over your area, which would bring you, of course, lightning, some heavy rain and the potential for some strong winds. But this future cast doesn't have a lot on here. It just has the heat and it has the humidity. So for tonight, we have 74 degrees, 74, 75, somewhere in there with patchy fog. It's really, really humid when you have a temperature of 74 and you get foggy conditions outside. And then tomorrow we're going to go up into the about 93 range by one mid 90s tomorrow, feeling like 103 to 106 here in Philly. We're going to go 90 down the shore. There's a heat advisory down the shore even. Elsewhere, it's an excessive heat warning. I got 94 for the Lehigh Valley and then tracking it out. So this is a five day run. Yesterday we had 90 today, mid 90s. We're going to go up Tuesday is the hottest of those days. Could see a few storms here and there and then dropping things down as we roll into Thursday, Friday after a cold front. We'll watch Wednesday, guys, for our greatest chance for some of those storms. Back